Hey, this is Mirgloff Builds, and in today's video, I'm going to be building a watchtower for the town of Greenstone. It's going to be right here. And uh, also, at the end of the video, I'll go and give a quick tour of some of the changes I've done off camera. But before I start any of the building, I would like to thank two people for subscribing. That would be Gmaster408 and Gavin Insane 5 Thank you for subscribing. And we're going to jump right in to me building the watchtower.
All right, so the Greenstone Watchtower is complete, and we'll take a look at it from the exterior to begin with. <clears throat> It doesn't need to be a particularly very tall tower, as you'll see when I get to the top, that it does not require uh, too extreme height to be uh, effective. And here's the first terrace view. It's not really the uh, point in which a watchman would watch uh, the surrounding terrain. Or at least the, uh, which direction is that? The east and the north, or south terrain. That's south, right? West? Yeah, that's south. You don't really have a very good look at the, uh, the west or the north. But the west is protected by the fort. Fort Highstone, and the uh, the north is going to be the more uh, civilized areas or roads where uh, once I do build uh, roads between the towns, there'll be uh, small outposts every now and then. So the north is a more safer. Oh, I need to go up is a more regulated area than the south or the east. And we'll take a look from the vantage point up here. You can see the Rob Theus Plantation, which is where I've got my tree farming operation going. It's been very fruitful. You can't really see Goodman's Gast over there. And all this over here used to be forest. You can still see some of the trees there. And But I uh, pretty much cut them all down in the production of the town of Greenstone here. Which is why I then made you know, the Rob Theus Plantation. And of course there's that village. Which is sort of like a... Uh, some other people. They're sort of like... Uh, neighbors to the town, but they're not part of Greenstone. They're sort of people who were there first. Uh, I'm still sort of working out in my head how I want to relate the uh, the, in the natural NPCs of uh, Minecraft to the lore of everything. I've already made up my mind that, you know, they're not regular people. They're sort of like uh, of a different race, I would say, if you were to like consider it like orc or elf, sort of that kind of thing, but specifically not those. That was just an example. And uh, as far as off-camera work that I've done, I've built two houses mainly is the most uh, most of what I've done. Did do very minor work on uh, other stuff as far as uh, putting vines on more of the buildings, as that's part of the architectural design. I still have more vines to lay out, but I will do that later. But I built two houses, this one here and this gray one there. They're pretty much the same as the rest of the houses. Just slight variations. And there's the gray one here. We'll take a quick look at it. Many things are consistent, such as these bookcases here and the stairwell and the uh, back door here. And they are 2nd Street 2B and 3A. And I also put some signs here for these other houses, which I hadn't done yet. 2nd Street 2A, 2nd Street 1A, 2nd Street 1B. And as always, if uh, you like any of these houses, you can just leave a comment below saying you want, I don't know, like 2nd Street 1B, and then I'll just put your YouTube name on there, or you can leave uh, another name that you might want on there in the comment. And that is everything for now, what I've done. 
But uh, I would like to uh, briefly uh, state my plans for the series. I know that I uh, was going to be building, well I still am going to be building that uh, underground town, the third town of this uh, this first empire that I'm working on, but uh, it's quite time consuming mining that out, so my thoughts were that when uh, 1.3 comes out, there is like the single player command things that will be integrated and you can switch from uh, single player, like uh, survival mode, to creative mode. And my thoughts were is that I would sort of bend my whole, you know, obviously, you know, not using creative mode thing just for the purpose of, you know, being able to break blocks quickly in creative mode in that underground cavern just so that I can finally get that finished as it's ridiculously large just the main chamber and there's several other chambers that I need to carve out I mean I suppose if uh, I get a lot of feedback saying that people don't want me to do this sort of uh, deviate from my policy of you know doing everything pretty much legitimately the only uh, mod I have installed is tree capitator uh, so yeah I, w I won't do that if there's a uh, great deal of negative feedback but it is very time consuming and is one of part of a contributing factor of which causes me to uh, have a delay in uploading videos so I was instead of doing that in the meantime between uh, now and 1.3 I was uh, I'm planning on starting a different town and if you've uh, followed this series, the Mirgloff build series, for quite a while, you may have uh, once or twice heard me mention that I plan on building other kingdoms, one of which I've already know of which, which is called the Sand Kingdom, which is mainly of desert origin. I plan on starting one of those type of towns, working on the Sand Kingdom a little bit, so that's going to be in the near future, as I'm almost out of stuff to uh, do in Greenstone. There might be actually just one or two more touch-up things, and I think just uh, one, one or two buildings over here, depending on how much space there is. Looks like there's only space for one building, so I may do a couple more of uh, subscriber monuments and one more building, and uh, Greenstone will, for all intents and purposes, will be complete. Thanks for watching. Uh, there will be more soon. And see you later.